problem 8.4-2. A block of material just fits between three rigid smooth walls, one on each of two sides and one below. If the top of the block is loaded in compression, as shown, find the strain in the z direction. Given the modulus of elasticity is 100 ksi, sigma naught is 100 psi, and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.4. Here is the block of material, the solid dark gray block. Here is the stress, sigma naught, which is 100 psi, acting in compression on the top of the block. Let's solve this problem. We're going to be using the generalized Hooke's Law equations. The first step is to identify which of the variables from those equations do we know. Well, we are, we're given the modulus of elasticity and Poisson's ratio. The equations also have sigma x, sigma y, and sigma z in them. We know that sigma z is equal to this compressive stress, which is 100 psi, negative for compression. We know that sigma normal stress in the x direction is equal to zero. The normal stress in the y direction, uh, well, we don't know that. However, we do know that the strain in the y direction is going to be zero, and that's because of these rigid boundary walls. The strain will be restrained to zero. So we're going to start with the generalized Hooke's Law equation for strain in the y direction. I'm going to begin with this equation because I know that uh, the strain will be equal to zero, and I only have one unknown in this equation, that's sigma y. I know sigma x, I know sigma z. Our modulus of elasticity will cancel out when we multiply both sides of the equation by e, and solving for sigma y, we get that sigma y is equal to negative 40 psi. And now I can solve for our strain in the z direction using the generalized Hooke's Law equation for epsilon z. And substituting into the equation for epsilon z, modulus of elasticity is 100 times 10 to the third psi. Sigma z is negative 100, and sigma y we solve for above. We get a value for strain in the z direction of negative 8.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. It's a normal strain, so our units are uh, going to be inches per inch, or unitless. And we're done.